In this video, we're going to be listing out three exercises to improve your jujitsu performance. Hey, Ben from BarbellCoalition.com here. When it comes to a physical sport like jujitsu, having the edge and strength and power over your opponent will make a massive difference in your performance. As a grappler myself and throughout my jujitsu journey so far, having a dedicated strength and conditioning routine has made a massive difference in my training on the mats. So in this video, we're gonna be listing out three of the best exercises you can use to improve your jujitsu performance. The first exercise is gonna be the front rack rear foot elevated split squat. When we look at the sport of jujitsu, we'll find that a large percentage of the movements being performed are front loaded, and they also happen to be unilateral. So we can train both of these qualities at the same time by taking the traditional rear foot elevated split squat and instead performing it in a front rack position. So this movement is going to teach the body to produce great amounts of force through one side of the body at a time while at the same time coordinating through the trunk through a dynamic range of motion. So using and progressing this exercise like you would any other strength exercise will make a massive difference in transfer extremely well over to performance on the mats. The second exercise is gonna to be towel grip pull-ups. So now we're working on building tremendous strength in our big pulling muscles, while at the same time placing an emphasis on grip strength which is obviously a very important attribute when it comes to jujitsu performance. So let's put this in a context a little bit. So if we think about a jujitsu match or a sparring session, typically we'd start standing up looking to make grips on our opponent. And the ability to grab your opponent and control their posture and their positioning is gonna be very reliant on the strength of your lats and also your grip strength. And this exercise directly trains those qualities so it transfers extremely well over to jujitsu performance. And just like regular pull-ups or chin-ups, as you get stronger at this variation, you can begin adding weight with a weight belt or a weighted vest. The third exercise is gonna be pause squats. A lot of the positions that are found in jujitsu are gonna be very reliant on what's called isometric strength. Isometric strength is the body's ability to maintain constant force while holding a static position and it's what's going to transfer so well over to your ability as a grappler to hold dominant positions over your opponent. So isometrics can be trained in all planes of motion but for this example we're going to be looking at specifically the squat movement. So what we're going to do here is we're going to try to get as deep as possible into our squat and we're gonna hold that position for five seconds. Here I recommend using a timer or a partner to count for you because it's gonna be very hard to give yourself a true five second count while you're under all of that force. And we can progress this movement by either adding more load or by extending that pause time at the bottom. If you wanna try a free jujitsu workout, click the link in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel for content delivered to you on a weekly basis. You can find our website, our Instagram, our TikTok, our Facebook, all in the description below. Thank you for watching.